The alpha male is one everyone looks up to and who is known as the pack leader. Many people believe that these alpha traits come naturally, yet anyone can become alpha with the correct combination of self-assurance, self-control, optimism, and empathy. Let's discover the seven secrets all alpha males should keep in mind. Number one, build your strength and physical wellness. Take good care of your body so that it will always function as you require. Instead of concentrating on how you seem, concentrate on how you can perform things. Being an alpha is about being strong and healthy, not about having a muscular build or being able to bench press a certain amount of weight. For instance, if you are physically active, you may assist a friend with packing and moving without needing to take numerous long breaks to rest. The concept of physical well-being includes drug use as well. A real alpha doesn't go out drinking excessively every weekend and then show up late to work on Monday morning with a hangover. One of the key responsibilities of a real leader is to take care of others. Therefore, taking care of yourself will increase the likelihood that others will regard you as capable of doing so. Number 2. Alpha males are assertive. Alpha and beta guys differ significantly in that alphas are assertive and betas are meek. An alpha guy is prepared to go to any lengths to achieve his goals in life and in himself. He sets clear limits and speaks up when they are breached. He owns his desires without feeling guilty or ashamed. For instance, an alpha guy who was married and observed that his wife was using his credit card excessively might react by establishing a barrier with her. After outlining their financial condition, he would politely but firmly advise her to limit her expenditures. He wouldn't skirt the issue if his wife refused to give up her midday shopping trips and $25 mimosas after he established the new barrier. Instead, he would confront her and set boundaries, possibly by decreasing the credit limit on her card or completely canceling her account. Betas, in contrast, are not aggressive. They could be aware of what they desire, but they lack the courage to pursue it. Even when every nerve in their body begs them to speak up when faced with confrontation, they bite their tongue and nod instead. They may establish borders, but they do so cautiously and timidly. And when a line is crossed, they only hint at the issue rather than accepting conflict and dealing with it head on. Number 3. Alphas are gentlemen. Real alphas are considerate to others. They respect themselves first and do not let others treat them like a doormat. But they are courteous, polite, and considerate nonetheless. They put their own needs first because they understand that they cannot help others without taking care of themselves first. Yet despite this, they sincerely care about the needs of the people in their lives and want what is best for them. They don't act in any of these ways because they need or want attention, approval or approval from others. They act in this manner because it is morally appropriate and because it is simply a part of who they are. Betas, however, are victims of the nice guy syndrome. They initially seem a lot like alphas from the outside. They're also kind, polite, and considerate. However, only if they think there is something to gain. A beta male is overly accommodating, using niceness to try to win over others. In order to get the acceptance of others, he will conform, follow the crowd, and agree with ideas or viewpoints that he does not truly support. The real distinction between alphas and betas lies not only in their outward behavior, but rather in their internal drives. Even when they have nothing to gain, alphas are generous to others. Betas uses phony kindness to get others' approval and feel validated. Number 4. Alphas Change or Accept It True alphas assume complete responsibility for their lives, which is a characteristic of alpha males. They're aware that everything in their life or not is their societal responsibility alone. This does not imply that they feel responsible for everything. We have no choice over the nation, ethnicity, sexual orientation, or family we were born into, and life may be cruel and unfair. Alphas, however, have played the hand that was dealt to them, fair or not, and they consistently ask themselves, what am I going to do about it, in response to any perceived unfairness. For instance, an alpha guy doesn't waste time whining, blaming others, and wallowing in self-pity if he loses his job as a result of office politics or a recession. He acknowledges what was happened, takes responsibility of his errors, and seeks a resolution. Betas, however, consider themselves to be victims of their environment and an effort to escape the uncomfortable reality that their circumstances are a direct result of their choices, they refuse to accept responsibility for their lives and will look for any scapegoat they can find. Anything other than themselves will be blamed, including their parents, the government, their ex-wife, the weather, etc. They embrace the blame and complain, modus, modus operandi, because they lack the strength of character to change the situation and the bravery to own up to their part in it.
If a beta male lost his work, he wouldn't take anything away from it. He wouldn't try to analyze what went wrong or how he could have done better. And he would wait until the very last second to take responsibility for his condition. Instead, he would weep and criticize his environment, except for accepting what had occurred to him and deciding to change. He would do anything. Number 5. Alpha Seek Genuine Connection Observing a man's interaction with a woman is one of the simplest ways to tell whether he's an alpha or a beta. According to preconceptions, alpha males are frequently well-liked by women. He may share pleasant emotions with others since he feels good about his life and direction because they are on their route in leading fulfilled lives. They frequently exude a magnetic charm that makes it simple to meet and get attention from elite women. However, how they engage with the women they draw into their lives is what distinguishes real alphas from the pretenders and the betas. Alpha males, in contrast to beta males, do not require approval from either men or women in order to feel good about themselves. It's not their goal to pull or get laid when they go out. They go out to socialize, have fun, and interact with others in a way that adds value. Because they aren't interested in sex just for the sake of sex, alphas frequently decline casual sexual relations. They desire connections instead. The ladies they select to spend their time in their beds with should make them truly happy. Betas, however, demand confirmation, especially praise from attractive women. The ideas of being enough is unsettling to beta males, considering a typical pickup artist. Because they don't feel worthy, they are continuously looking for women who will affirm them and make them feel like men. They don't care about things like closeness, connection, or shared beliefs, and they desperately want affirmation that they will put up with hours of tedious discussions and a few minutes of shoddy sex with a stranger in order to obtain it. Number 6. Alphas Trust Themselves Alpha males tend to have a high level of self-confidence since they take full responsibility for their lives. Yes, they seek out mentorship, professional guidance, and the humility to recognize when they need assistance. However, they are the ones in charge of navigating the ship, and they are aware that it's ultimately up to them to make crucial choices. For instance, a young alpha man might start to wonder if he should continue his studies in college. He seeks advice from his friends, teachers, and parents, all of whom urge him to complete his degree. The feeling, though, is off. He decides to drop out of school and follow his entrepreneurial dreams because he is aware that there is more to life than academics. He believed in himself and understood that the discomfort of forging his own course was nothing compared to the discomfort of looking back. Betas lack this level of self-confidence because they view themselves as victims. Instead, they turn to the opinions of others for comfort, letting their friends, family, society, and government instruct them on how to live. Number 7. Alphas Strive for Growth and Mastery a fixation with excellence is ultimately one of the most crucial traits of an alpha male. Alphas want to provide their greatest effort in every circumstance. They are aware that life is a gift that may be taken from them at any time. They actively seek and eliminate mediocrity, and they'll not be limited or play small in any aspect of their lives. For alphas, having it all is the ultimate goal. They are motivated to fulfill their potential. They aim for excellence in all areas of their lives, including relationships, physical health, careers, happiness, wealth, and spirituality, rather than accepting a life of mediocrity. That's all for now. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.